And typically, if I don't know a fighter like that, I don't want to even touch touch his name, you know, because I just don't know much. Why bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I mean, we talk about let's talk about a weight class that everybody knows about the 68 division, super middleweight. Hey, the king, the king at, in that division is David Benavides. Hold on, hold on. We still got, you know, Canelo with all the straps here. I think. All right. Benavides is capable of beating Canelo. Okay. Yeah. That and that's fair. That's fair. So I mean, I guess I can't listen, really listen. Listen, what I just said though. He's capable on beating Canelo. Capable. So don't, I understood don't exactly twist what you said. Words up. Understand what I'm saying. Capable, okay? Because a lot of people just run, run their mouth and uh, go with it. No, so, no, absolutely. You know, uh, he has all the he he has the right attributes to be Canelo, um, stylistically, uh, character, um, yeah, he he got it all. Mm. So I mean, you kind of like David Benavides is a special, uh, fighter. He's a special like it's it, you don't see you don't see that type of person often he's like one every 10 years you know because he got he's what six three right or six, six two six, three. um but my man can move defensively responsible puts crazy combination hella fast and he don't get tired he don't mm -hmm. get tired, you know and he has a insane work ethic his work ethic is out the roof i work hard my boy, my boy work hard as well. So whenever he at the gym, man, I love it when he's at the gym. Because, you know, we be cooking up in there. Mm. I had the pleasure to be able to chop it up with his father yesterday. And, you know, this is the biggest fight of their life with him and Caleb Plant. How does this fight play out? I think Caleb Plant comes out boxing him and uh, might give uh, Benavidez trouble early in the rounds. You know, just sticking him moving. Uh, it's going to get to a point where just the pressure is going to get to him, and you can't run for 12, for 12 rounds. Not run, but you can't box this dude for 12 rounds because he, he'll cut you. He'll cut the ring. He'll take risks. He's long. He gets you from a distance. You know, I think by the time he gets to the to the fifth round, he's going to start putting his stuff together. Um, But he'll stop in, in later rounds. 11-round stop, bitch, I see. Good prediction, good prediction. I don't know if you're a betting man, but uh, I think uh, – it would be a good. It would be a good little betting fight to be, you know, when you're there live and stuff. Right. Uh, uh, going off of uh, other fighters in that. What would you say? I say I might fly out to Vegas and go check that out. That that's the type of fight you want to be. That's where you want to be wanna at. Win yeah. it. Because that's it's gonna be in the history books forever. And everyone's gonna be there that you know loves boxing. So. I I completely agree. I'm pretty sure I did probably gonna hey. go myself. Let me touch now because uh, my boy right here said something about Plant is going to uh, do something special. Um, if Plant is able to, if he's in great shape and he's able to keep the box. He's with Larry Wade, so. For, for 12. Conditioning. No, no, no. But he gets tired. He gets tired. I'm, I'm able to peep it because I, I know what tired looks like. Yeah. He, he's able to hide it. That's the thing. So people don't, don't. They can't see it. He has a good poker face, but I studied this shit. I, I can see, I can see when he's fatiguing. So I've seen it in fights. Second half of a fight towards the end, he he kind of goes down. It happened with Canelo. Uskatiki. Um, it happened with Uskatiki, but he he was able to push through and, and get the victory with that fight. Correct. He, if he's in great shape and he's able to keep that energy. And Al Boxing, he, he probably he has a chance on beating uh David off points. Yeah. And and you know, it also comes from experience, Scrap. You know, when you're in these big stages, sometimes you guys feel like you gotta do more than what you have to to win the right. round. Yeah. And you're putting a little too much gas on a certain round. And that experience, you know, of being, you know, Uskatiki, Canelo, it's different. Yeah. You've been there now. You know, yeah. so curious to see yeah. where what type of plant we're gonna get as far as that. But yeah, you're a hundred percent right when it comes down to that. I see what you see. I see what you see. Just doing, just doing enough to get that round. Correct. Yeah, but that we kind of seen it with Rashidi Ellis and uh, you know Ramon Villa. 
just a little bit too much to win certain rounds. And then he ended up breaking a record of throwing round, uh, punches per round, you know? Yeah. So it kind of backfired him in the later rounds. Seems like you but, um, still boxing IQ. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. Um, but at the same time, man, um, you know, we got the 175 division, man. You know, it's it's a hot division still. You know, we got Arthur Better Beef that, uh, you know, basically broke down Anthony Yard. And I'm not a fan of him. I'm not a fan of him or like, but he's doing it and it's working for him. So much respect. Mm -hmm. But I just, I, to me, it's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It, you, you got, you got, you got Bivol. Hey, Bivol is the, this dude, he doesn't do anything crazy. Like there's nothing, there's nothing that's wow. But he got the basic. He he his foundation, his foundation is just solid, all around. And he's like a Tim Duncan of 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 basketball. Yeah. I mean, a, a boxing. He just got the bread and butter, and he and this is what he's doing. All all he's been doing his whole career. It's just like, you know, and right person been able to break that down, you know, so. That, he's a good fighter, man. I was uh, when he fought through the Ramirez, I was in his locker room just watching him warm up. And it's just insane. It's just simple, simple thing, you know, simple forward, simple combination, nothing too flashy, right? Mm -hmm. And that just proved to me that, man, simple shit just take you a long, a long way if you right. master it. The thing, it get, it get, it get boring working on the same, but. Once you master the simple things, the fun, the fundamentals, you get to that level of, like, you're able to break the rules or just get creative with it and do the flashy shit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. And, um, you know, we were we had to postpone my Suldo Ramirez um, interview, but we'll definitely be able to tap that in real soon. That's your stable mate, um, a guy that did get to fight, um, you know, Bevo, um, what do you think about his next fight prepping against uh, Gabriel Rosado? That's a good fight for him because Gabriel Rosado ain't no walk through the park. Gabriel Rosado, is, is, he's a tough opponent. And every fight, he, every fight he's been in, it's been a tough fight. So he's going to show up. So I told him, like, hey, bro, we can't take him lightly. And that's my bro, too. Gabriel, I respect Gabriel Rosado. My boy done share a lot of game with me, you know. So I know Gabriel, so I know he's working. I know he's hungry, and he's looking to uh, get back on the mat. That's it's that simple. You no, know, Sudo just came from a loss, right? But ain't nothing wrong with it. What we do, we keep moving on, keep getting better. I told him like, hey, we can't take this dude lately, right? Because he's trying to get what you what you want, you know? Because you trying to get back on in the mix, right? Trying to get that you know so it's i think it's a good it's a perfect fight you know it's going it's a person that's trying to take your record your legacy and what you got going on you trying to get back on the map you know and yeah it's a perfect fight for both parties now do would you have to say that this is kind of like an underrated fight in boxing it is an underrated fight but hey it, it's gonna be a big fight mexico against puerto rico you know that yeah it Watch, it's, just, it's one of those fights where you don't see much promotion, but the night of the fight or or the day after the fight, is like, yo, that was like the fight, you know? And it might be fight of, of the year. It got that potential of being a fight of the year, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of heart. There's a lot of heart in that in that ring, you know? So I completely agree on that. So you, you how do you really see that shit going down? You know, you I, know not. Listen. I've been in the ring. I, I I've been in the gym with both of them. They done sparred each other, right? So mm -hmm. I know what to expect. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell y'all what happened because I'm not gonna do that. That's not the type of person I am. Yeah, you ain't gonna I'm, spill the good. I'm though. gonna say this: tune in, watch. Mm. On, that's it. No, it's going. It's gonna be a good fight. I guarantee you. You know, sparring sparring's always lit. So you have to check it out. Where, 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 man? And on the last, on the last note, man, we have here, um, you know, the the heavyweight division, you know, the most prestigious division there in boxing, man. Heavyweight, man, stop playing, bro. Hey, you gonna go in there? You gonna go in there with uh, Tyson Fury? Yeah, I've been, I, like I said, I, I I've been in camp with Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That dude, he's another one of one, man. This dude moves. He moves like I move. Yeah. He moves like 300 pounds. Big. Scrappy, like, if you punch up, where do you where do you touch him? Bro, I'm upper. You know where I'm going to uppercut his ass. <laughs> and he going down. Yeah. Hit him right in the balls. You going to hit him right in the nip. No, nah, I'm, I'm going for the balls, bro. <laughs> yeah. Going to the head. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, man. And I seen you jump in the gym over here trying to do your basketball thing. You're going to have to jump with that ball. Hey, I could, I could, I could hoop, too. I heard that. I heard that. But I'm going to have to see you in the court, brother. I'm telling you, I got it. I could, I could really hoop. Yeah, we got I, I, might, put, it, I might put you on towel. Like. Oh, oh, man. I don't know, man. I, I might have to end your career in, in, in boxing, man. They're going to be like, oh, his ankles. You're going to be doing the real ankle thing in, in the airport like, like Tank did, but for I, real. I bet you you won't. Ooh. Ooh, all right, all right. We, we'll definitely do that. But yo, bro, it was a blessing chopping it up with you, man. I can't wait to see what you got going on. Uh, February twenty fifth, show off. 23rd, I know that you twenty third. We got to get it right. Third. Oh, I messed that up. It's all good. It's all you know, good. It, it, it's all these dates and stuff like that. But when, when we talk about the twenty third, that's this coming up Friday. No, that that's next Thursday. So we ten days out. Okay, so it's on a Thursday. So ain't no, no excuses because I'm the only. I'm the only person fighting on a Thursday around the world that day. So everyone tune in. I guarantee you, you I won't disappoint, man. You're going to steal yeah. the week, the, 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 steal the fight week, because we got, like I told you, we got um, Jake Paul fighting at the end of that week. Yeah. And like I told you. I'll be out there after my fight, I'm going to fly out to Saudi. So I'll be out there. Yeah. What you think about that fight too, Jake Paul and uh, Tommy? It, it, before we out. It's good for boxing because he's bringing a different culture to the game. So, listen, I I'm, I can't hate on the person that's actually doing it. A lot of people want to talk now. He ain't no boxer and he ain't this and he ain't that. Just shut up and do it. He's doing it. So, he, he's showing you he's showing you the blueprint. Mm. You know, if you're a boxer, don't hate on him. Just grab a piece of his book, uh, grab a page off his book and apply it to yours because he's doing it. He's showing you. You know, but people want to talk down on him. It's like you can't be talking down on a person that's actually putting the work. You know what I'm saying? And can't touching be... on every platform out there. Every... So if he's doing it, why can't I? You know, right. that's my mindset. But yeah, I I go to gyms and people just talk on this dude, and y'all only helping him out because y'all keep talking about him. You know, good or bad, you're still talking about the dude, and he's making money while you're over here talking about him and his decisions. So just shut that up and do your work, man. Maybe he you'll... Paying, he paying fighters more than other promoters. Yeah. He got, he got four more I, champions I, fighting I, on the I was, undercard. I was out in Florida, no, Orlando, and he came down to the WBA Convention Center. Now, a lot of people, again, were saying, why is he there? He's not a real fighter. Well, he's a promoter. He promotes women boxing. That's the reason he was out there, you know? So, again, people just like to talk without knowing the facts, man. So before y'all even speak, just get your sister straight. Absolutely, man. February 23rd, if you don't know about my man Scrappy, this guy right here, he got the goods, he got the flow, and he going to show you what he got, his first 10-rounder, nice step-up fight. This guy had, you know, first time in America, bro, so you got to welcome him, all right? I got you, man. Hey. Lean back, have your popcorn ready, enjoy the show. I got you, brother. I'll be there, man. I, I'll be watching in and tuning in, man. Much love to you, man. Great chopping it up with you, and we'll double back um, on the next time when you win. What's your name again? I'm George. George. Scrap. So nice meeting you, bro, and thank you for your time. Hey, my people, like I said, I'm going to keep saying this. Y'all know what time is it. It's Scrap time. Get your popcorn. Don't miss out.